All right, so um, let's get into it. So this is the training about um, getting clients for your AI agency. So um, let's go through an overview of what we're gonna cover today. Um, we're gonna start with uh, picking your niche. Uh, next, uh, we're gonna talk about um, crafting your outreach template. Uh, next, we're gonna talk about building a lead list, automating your outreach and signing clients. Okay, and so let's start with uh, picking your niche and crafting your outreach template. Uh, it will be the focus of this, this part of the training here. So the first step as always for an agency or for any kind of business is to kind of have an idea of who is your niche. So it's to niche down to try not to target everyone and to choose a target uh, market. Um, so we're going to talk about the best kinds of niches and our uh, niche research prompt. So the best kind of niches are the ones uh, you usually have the most affinity with. Uh, so for instance, if you, um, if you often go to the gym, then working with gym owners uh, and gym businesses will be a very natural fit for you. Um, the main reason is, is because you're going to know their lingua, so the way they talk, like there's a specific way to, to talk in the, in the gym and fitness industry. Uh, you're going to know things like their opening hours, and you're going to know uh, what their service is about. So usually, um, it, it's my personal feeling, like if you're an agency, um, if you know the lingua of a business, if you have an affinity with their niche, um, it's it's kind of uh, of easier. It's it's a natural fit for you. Uh, similarly, like if you if you're gonna work with um, accountants, um, you know obviously you don't have to be an accountant, but you 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 need to have a certain understanding of their business. Um, the second uh, best type of niches to 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 work with, or rather another criteria to consider, is to work with niches uh, with businesses who have money. Um, obviously, uh, there are some types of businesses that don't generate a lot of revenues, a lot of profits. Um, so, you know, it, it's going to be harder to, to sell your service to these types of uh, businesses. And finally, the last criteria is to um, try to focus on niches where AI has a strong benefit. And I'm going to show you how, um, in a second, how to find um, these kinds of niches where AI has a strong benefit uh, using a simple prompt. Okay, so this is what we call our niche prompt. Um, so we use this prompt, we've, we plug this prompt into um, ChatGPT to basically um, ask it to, to, find, to help us find the niche. Okay, like before, I guess the general um, strategies around finding niches was to obviously look at your affinities, what you are interested in first, and then, you know, go to Google or, or do some niche research. Okay, but nowadays with ChatGPT, um, it can do the niche research for you. Um, so that's what we use. Uh, that's why we use a niche uh, prompt. Okay. And so the prompt is, uh, you're an expert marketer, market researcher. So give me a list of potential small businesses types to target for my AI agency. My core service is a chatbot for knowledge base and customer support. So again, usually as an AI agency, this is, this is going to be your, your, uh, your, your, your kind of foot in the door strategy is, is to offer chatbots. Uh, because it doesn't cost you a lot to do and and chat gpt is so popular right now that every small businesses have heard about chatbot so this is why we mentioned that in the prompt and then include answers in the table with the name of the industry so for instance uh, coaching the example of such businesses uh, within that industry so like career coaches would be one another one could be a fitness coach and then benefits of a, chat, a chatbot to this niche and so I give some examples here of benefits. And so the idea is that um, this prompt is going to help you find a niche and understand what would be the benefit of your chatbot um, to that specific niche. 
So um, let's go into um, chat GPT here and I'm gonna paste uh, that prompt here. Um, so I'm using the plus version. So there's two versions here, uh, 3.5 and 4. Uh, usually 3.5 is, is more than fine, but if you can use 4, I and if you have a paid subscription, I recommend you use 4 because the results are, are usually um, slightly better. So let me copy this prompt first. Then go here and paste it. All right, so you can see here is giving me um, um, a list of niches. So it didn't quite get the prompt. So let me try to rephrase that and um, include other industries, uh, not just coaching. Sometimes you can, um, you know, refine. Uh, okay, so here you have legal services. So for instance, we have law firms. Um, so the benefits of a chatbot for this kind of industry would be to provide basic legal information and answers to frequently asked questions, offering immediate assistance to clients. So this is a very obvious benefit, and um, uh, that's very understandable and actionable. Um, you have e-commerce, uh, travel and tourism, travel agencies, uh, IT services, uh, hospitality, education. Um, so answers to student queries and guidance on course selection and enrollment. Uh, and if you want more, you can just say, give me more, uh, it will give you more idea. So the way you want to use that, that prompt and this tool is as a way to give you an idea of a niche you, you'll be happy to work with and comfortable to work with um, for a start, okay? So, like here, beauty and salon uh, offer appointment scheduling for haircuts, styling, and other salon services, saving time, and facilitating bookings. Okay, so this is another very good one. And so, so yeah, this is what really changed um, for market research, at least, uh, which is one of the many industries that uh, ChatGPT has obviously, obviously impacted is that you know before you used to have to go to google and you know kind of pick a list and you wouldn't really know the benefits of your service to that particular industry but now with the right prompts uh, you can get just that you get um, the exact uh, ben benefit that you know your service would provide to this business so we'll just pick one um, pick a niche to start with and obviously you can always change niches later. You can always evolve, but it, it's just good um, for your communication um, to be able to say, you know, I work with uh, event management companies and, you know, I help them use AI to um, for event planning purposes. Okay, it's just a better message. It's a better communication and it's going to be easier to attract clients that just that than just saying you know I help any kinds of businesses with AI. It's uh, that's the approach here. So the next step, uh, once we have our, our niche that we select through uh, the niche prompt. Okay, so this is an example of the the results uh, I got earlier. Um, so I think I chose uh, career coaches. Okay, so you can see that the benefit for career coaches is to, uh, we help them provide resources on resume writing, interview tips, and answer common career-related questions and help with scheduling coaching sessions. So you can think of it as a, a chat bot where you would interact with the chat, ask it questions about your career, and eventually the uh, chat bot would, would, would lead you to uh, book uh, an, an appointment. Um, so next, uh, let's talk about crafting your outreach template. Now that we know a niche, we can craft a message that will talk to that niche. And we'll talk about um, the medium. So um, how, you know, we're going we're gonna to communicate to people. Um, your value proposition, which is an essential part of your message. And then we're going to create um, an outreach message using a prompt. So the medium, um, usually it's going to be 
uh, emails or social media direct messages. Um, so this is how you're going to do outreach. So outreach is just like sending a message to a potential client, if that's clear. Um, so there's very various ways to, to do uh, outreach via emails and social media, but essentially there's two main categories. You can do it manually or you can do it with automation. And this is something we'll cover um, in the course. We'll cover both methods. Um, so there's, there's, there's these options. Um, next, we have um, our value uh, proposition. Okay, so uh, this is going to be an important part of your message. Uh, we're going to incorporate that into our outreach message. And so the value proposition is a clear statement that explains um, how your product is going to solve a customer's problem or improve their situation. Uh, so in the context of an AI agency, a good template for a value proposition would be, I help this type of business uh, get these benefits from chatbot with AI. Okay, this will usually do uh, the job by having this kind of templates. And um, this is how you can fill the blank. So the type of businesses, um, this is obviously the type of businesses you want to serve. So we did that part in the previous section um, um, where you do the niche selection. So once you select a niche, you can say, okay, the type of business I'm going to target are career coaches, or yoga instructors, or hairdressers, and so on. And next is the benefits from chatbot. So again, in our previous example here, uh, we managed to generate some benefits from chatbots using a chat GPT. And one of the benefits for career coaches would be to help with scheduling coaching sessions. Um, so basically I integrate that here, scheduling more coaching sessions with AI. Okay, so um, then my uh, value proposition would be I help career coaches schedule more coaching sessions with AI. So again, very clear. Um, very understandable, and um, in the training, we'll show you how to uh, deliver those services or to create those services, um, but that's pretty much the, the message you would use inside. And so once we have the value proposition, then we can go on and craft an outreach message, okay? And this is the prompt we're going to use. So basically, we're going to ask ChatGPT to create our the message we're going to send via DM or via emails to potential clients. Uh, because again, before we used to have to use templates, and uh, you know, maybe go again on Google or YouTube and find ideals for outreach message um, structure. But right now you can get ChatGPT to do a 20 outreach message for you in a few seconds. And uh, it's just much more efficient and it's just much more, it's just, it's just a lot easier. Um, so the prompt is the following. So you're an expert copywriter uh, helping AI agencies get more clients. So I need you to craft several different outreach mes messages to book the calls, uh, to book calls with the leads that I find. What I require is that each message should be short to the point, include my value proposition and my offer. And I'll explain what the offer is here in, is in a second. Um, so make sure the email is uh, scannable, clear, concise, uh, professional, informal. Uh, and this is, gonna, this is gonna be used, this might be used on platforms like Instagram and Twitter. So uh, make sure the conversation is more natural. So then I give him my value proposition. So this is part, obviously, you would replace with your own. I help types of businesses benefit from chatbots with AI. So in my case, I help career coaches schedule more coaching sessions with AI. Um, and then um, you include the offer, okay? So my offer is to help them with their businesses and to ask them to reply if they would like a quick chat with me. So that's pretty much the offer. And you don't really need to customize that because um, obviously you, you're not going to be able to sell via, via an email or a direct message. All you want is the person to reply and say, you know, yes, I'd like to talk to you and, uh, and then schedule a call and get on a call with them. 
that's why we keep this this part very simple so then I ask it to give me five outreach templates following this method in a table and make sure to not include any opening questions um, like in this example. So I just give give them some um, um, some example of what we actually um, expect for an outreach message. So then um, we want to copy this and again go to ChatGPT and paste it. So you would update the uh, value proposition. I'm just going to keep it as is in this case. And here you see is given me um, several um, outreach templates. So again, this is related to my niche, which is career coach. So hi, name. I saw you're a career coach. I help coaches like you schedule more sessions with AI. Would you like a quick chat to explore how it can benefit your business? Let me know. Um, so yeah, pretty great messages. Um, Hi, name as a career coach. I know valuable time is. That's why I offer uh, AI solutions to help coaches schedule more sessions. Curious, curious to learn how it can benefit your business. Let's have a quick chat. Um, so obviously, like you can see in this one, it made a mistake. It mentioned like as a career coach. Like I'm not a career coach, so you would probably uh, ignore that. Like with anything generated with with ChatGPT, before you take it to the public, you want to um to to review it and make sure it's it's good enough and if you want more you can say like give me uh 10 more and it will keep on 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 giving you some so these are great this is a great starting point for your um for your outreach message so then if there's one you like you will kind of single it out um, obviously when you send it you want to uh, space it out like this so it's more readable. So a name, I help career coaches like you leverage AI technology to scale their business. Uh, imagine automating repetitive tasks and focusing on client growth. In interested in in exploring this opportunity. So like, let's say, um, talking about this, let's chat. And, and, and that's it. Obviously, you know, there's more example here. Um, you would go through them and, and use the one that kind of speak more to your voice and you want to customize it to match your voice and how you would talk because this is still um, machine generated. So so that's how you use uh, ChatGPT to craft your outreach uh, template. And, and that's also, I guess, one of the points with the AI agency. Um, it's not about just um, offering AI services. It's also about incorporating um, AI systems and AI tools into your your agency workflow. So in that case, it's ChatGPT to generate um, outreach messages. Um, and so, so yeah, we just saw the outreach message prompt here. And so yeah, these are some of the results I got earlier. Um, so pretty similar to what you what, what we just discussed. Um, so that gives you a great way to to then reach out to clients, pretty much. And you can always vary it. You can test it um, as you get so many different variation um, from a single prompt. And um, yeah, and that pretty much concludes that part of the training. So in the next part, um, you know, we'll discuss how to build. Uh, your list of prospects of potential uh, clients, um, but that will be available in the uh, in the academy on Monday for design subscribers or people on the trial as well. If you choose to join our trial, um, so that concludes um, that training on uh, getting clients. I hope this was this opened some um, some ideas for you. And, and it gave you some ideas on how you can um, really leverage AI for um, automation.